Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to disable clearing history on Safari just like this so they cannot clear the history on Safari. So let's get started. So in order to disable this, the first thing you're going to do is go into your setting on your iPhone and then scroll down to screen time. Now you want to turn on screen time if you're not using it. So once you turn on screen time, you're going to see there's a lock for screen time settings. So these settings, you can set a lock, which is going to be different, or you can use a different one than the current pass code for your phone. So you would set something, of course, complicated, not simple as I'm doing right now. So I'm just setting one, and you can link it with your Apple ID account if you choose to, so you can reset it later, um, or you can skip this part. But basically, we're going to set a restriction using this, and then the only way to undo it is by disabling this, which you would need to know the password to undo this. So after you have set that up, you're going to go to content and privacy restriction, and you're going to turn this on. And from here on, we're going to turn to app store, media, web, and games. So we're going to go over here, and then right here for web content, currently you can see it's unrestricted. We're going to go ahead and limit adult sites, and then enter that passcode that we created again. And this will do is stop or disable someone having the ability to clear their history on Safari. So if you go in Safari this time, open up here, and I try to clear, as you can see, it's unable to clear. They would have to come here and know the passcode to disable it here. So if they try to go ahead and turn this off, let's go ahead and see, as you can see here, they will need a passcode, which you, know, you would set. So without the passcode, they will not be able to clear those history, just like that. So that's how you can disable clear history on Safari. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.